been many questions and comments about what women can do. Well, we can do a lot of things, but can you lead? Let me ask you some questions. Raise your hand if you have been a leader in a group. If you have won any prize. If you have been in some big conference. Okay, some of you would say yes and some no, but you? Sometimes when we can do something, we don't feel really happy or proud of ourselves, right? This blank is called diffidence. This blank, you can describe it as if you minimize your achievements or say they weren't good enough. There are two types of people. One that feels something is bad and doesn't do anything about it, and the other one that feels something is bad and does something to achieve their goal. Which person are you? What matters is not winning, but trying and trying until you achieve your goal. Never take no for an answer. Like when your partner says that your work is bad and that you can't do it. But you can, because nobody, because you're the only one who knows who you are and what you're capable of. We have an open mind, which allows us to think big projects and products. Because it's with the think, we allow us to do more things that we think we have the potential to. Nobody can reject you or your work unless you accept what they tell you. They, sometimes you try to listen to what they tell you because they might be right or wrong. But if you want to change something, change it because you want to, not because other people want you to change it. Every day we become a leader because we organize our day. But you may think that you're not a leader because you don't organize your day with a purpose. But all of us, unconsciously, we create a routine. We have a leader in our daily life and we create a routine and we say what we want to do and what is our daily goal. Don't let other people stop you from making the change you want or the things you love. So can everyone be a leader? A leader is not a leader is one who not for the fact that they are intelligent or good at something. It's for the fact they uh, make an effort to make what he is today. So yes, everybody can choose if they want to be a leader or not. But there's something that makes women start participating in leadership, which is called gender imbalance. You may ask yourself, what is this? This is when people think and promote women can't be a leader, which I think it's really wrong. As you say, this is incorrect because we because we can lead as men do. I don't find why people say this, because this is not just happening in Mexico. This happened all around the world. But the worst part of this is that most people still think women are born to be housewives and that we should do what people tell us. But this is all fashion and women can do whatever they set out to do. But remember, if you want to become a leader, you need to be confident, honest, commit, creative, and most important, be brave. Because if you are brave, that means that you're confident in what you say. And that means that most of the things you say are true. So if you want to share something without struggling, you can commit. I love your mood, but I just noticed everything you say was connected. What do you mean? Yes, everything you say was connected to another word or action. So being a leader is not really difficult. You just need to be confident with everything you say. To quickly recap, I would like you to remember these important key points. Confidence plus being brave plus never give up and attempting the assumption into do something. This gives us as a result, a leader. Today, Today is your opportunity to build the tomorrow, tomorrow you want. want. My name is Alicia. My name is Michelle Padilla.